Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you a brief overview of the Roadside Shops plugin and how to download and install it on your server. The Roadside Shops plugin introduces a new method to trade between players. Each player has his or her own shop where they can offer their items for sale. Your choice of sponsored item will be the key to getting noticed and attracting new customers. By typing the command slash roadside shop with a username, you can open your shop or other players' shops. If you open your shop, you can see slots where you can add items you want to sell. After adding an item, you can set a price and also sponsor on the newspaper so that people can see it and purchase the item from there as well. Slash newspaper will open the newspaper which displays other players' sponsored items. First, you're going to need to go to the plugin's website. You can find the link in the description below. Go to the version section from the menu at the top. Make sure the plugin is compatible with the version your server is on. Go to the plugin version you want, then click the green download button to the left. This will instantly download the plugin. Next, you will need to download the Vault plugin. You can find the link in the description as well. Click on download now to instantly download the plugin. And finally, you will need the Essentials X plugin. The link will be in the description below. Click on Download Now, which will redirect you to the download page. Then click Stable Release and click Download next to Essentials X to instantly download the file. We recommend dragging the files to your desktop so they're easier to find. Head on over to the control panel of your VPS server. Then go to create service. Make sure the service selected is Minecraft Java Edition, then under type make sure to select paper or spigot depending on the plugin version you downloaded earlier. Make sure the Minecraft version is compatible with the plugin. Then click create service on the bottom to create your server. Next head over to your file section and open the plugins folder. Now you want to drag and drop the plugin file into this folder. Then you can restart your server and wait till it's online to see if the plugin has installed correctly. After doing so, head over to the dashboard tab to make sure your plugin is installed. You can see it's installed when it says done near the bottom. Make sure there aren't any errors relating to the plugin. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.